I have not done this in forever, but welcome to another episode of Flea Market Finds. Today, we are in Texas, and we are at Bussies. What was that? Huh? I'm being told it's called Busey's. So we are currently on route to Austin, Texas. I am in a band. I know you don't care, but I'm in a band, and we stopped by to check out some stuff. Right off the bat, there is a nice armadillo, and I really like flea markets like this where it's just a giant garage sale. It is also very windy, so the audio will be kind of muted. All of this was filmed on my phone, but I do have a very nice camera. I just didn't have it on me. <laughs> That's, that's fucking sick. What I love about flea markets like this is that you, you'll just find anything. You want some condoms, you want some penis pills, you got it. Why not? So I'm right next to the high heels. There's a giant pile of Tsum Tsums. We also have some retro style Star Wars figures. But more importantly, we do have some video games. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, although they do have Madden 08, not 06, so it doesn't matter. And of course, they have anime figures in Ziploc bags to keep the freshness in. We do have an Arsuid prize figure. The guy wanted 25 for each of the bags. I said no because the Arsuid was actually missing a piece. I know very little, I'm mostly through us, Anything good? We got Halo 3. Yeah, but like, can't play this anymore. You can't, oh, hey! Can't play these. This, this is $2 on Steam right now. Yeah, American type. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mighty! <laughs> Batman Forever figures too, huh? Donkey Kong and an Eevee too. Surprisingly, finding a lot of cool stuff. This is for all you nerds out there. And right behind us, we have video games. Whoa, 50 bucks? I, it's rare as fuck. Dude, I'd pick it up for 50. If I had 50. I do. Guilty Gear, Resident Evil on the GameCube. Xeno Saga? I have that one. I bought my brother all three. These games were priced at market, so I wasn't expecting a deal. And we have some Yokai Watch figures. Remember when this was considered the next Pokemon? Wild. As a preschool teacher, I like this pin. Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> what? You literally find anything at a flea market. Here we have some SNES games, and these boxes are just like clamshell boxes that have the actual game inside. They are not complete in box. There's also a couple loose games as well as some Pokemon cards. This dude's just selling everything. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. We did pick up The Legend of Zelda on the GameCube. Finally, here's my bread and butter, bootlegs. Here we have a Pokemon blanket as well as a full Prince Selena shirt. That is uh, interesting, I have not seen that before. Croc charms are surprisingly in right now as well as Hello Kitty. And all of these Hello Kitty figures are also bootlegs, but they're actually kind of well-made bootlegs. There's also a thing called the Dinosaur Exhibit. I did not want to pay about $10 to get in, but they did accept Venmo and Cash App. So instead of doing the Dinosaur Exhibit, we just looked at free records. Uh, there was nothing of value. Yeah, it's just a race car. <laughs> That's so funny. I think it's like eight bucks. I might get it from my brother for Christmas. And there were also a lot of different stalls at this flea market. And I felt like I've been here before walking these stalls. Like I'm almost 100% certain the Game Chasers have filmed an episode here. Shout out to the Pikachu rabbit. Ah, here we go. An anime booth. So let's pop on in. They have a decent amount of wall scrolls. And I think they were watching Jingle All The Way. I could be wrong. Everything was secondhand and everything was nicely priced. Here is the fancy display case that has a lot of different vintage figures. And there was an 18 plus section. What's that say? 18 plus only? Do you go for oh, they got a Conte figure. And here's what they had inside. A lot of good stuff, honestly. They had some original Kamen Rider figures. They have a couple VHSs and different video games. And we do have some Gantz figures as well. Here's a different booth. We did find some shoujo manga, but man, there's just like stuff, 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 stuff everywhere. A lot of VHSs, 
Of course, there's a Selena poster. The flea market swords. Legendary. I love the flea market swords. They ain't protecting shit. <laughs> what? Oh my god, they... As Demon Slayer. What? Oh, there's one of... Uh... Wednesday. <laughs> Is this actually sick? Oh my god. I, I legit couldn't tell if these were cool or not. Dude, these are sick. Either way, there was a lot of antique shops, and here's one that's just riddled with stuff. I just love walking around and looking at all the old stuff. Here's some video games. We got a Dreamcast, we got an N64, PlayStation 2, NES, a bunch of different controllers. This is actually kind of cool. It's a new uh, N64 style controller. I did talk to the booth owner and he told me to get Final Fantasy 16 as soon as I get a PlayStation 5. And that is all the convincing I need for a PlayStation 5. I'm on it. Looking around, I found some Monchichis. Shout out to the two people that know what that is. And if you want a bag of Quarks, you can get a whole hefty bag for 10 bucks. Here's a Dragon Ball comic volume one. This was actually given out during free comic book day. We have some old books that look a little interesting, and what is this? How to Master Video Games? Finally, I could get good at Fortnite. And we have a game, War Room for the Odyssey. And it does come with a keypad. That is actually kinda rare. And of course, we got Gorf on the Coleco, no keypad. And here is a Pocket Pikachu that probably doesn't work. I have never found one in the wild that is actually in working condition. As you can see, the screen is a little damaged as well. There is some bit rock. Right, what'd you get? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Plus 44? Yeah. Plus 44, baby. What else? Some G <laughs> Blade bits. <laughs> just, just, uh, the Psycho Billy one? Psycho Billy Wolfmother. Oh, fuck yeah. And then, I got this from Tommy. <laughs> Down! <laughs> what VHS's did you find? Hollywood video. Care Bear. <laughs> Care a lot birthday? Care a lot birthday. That's Tender Heart Bear. <laughs> Octopus 2. Oh, that's a good movie. And with that, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It was really fun. My phone did die because my phone is a horrible battery now, but I plan on doing a lot more of these more local to my area. So with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one.